Hey guys, Jolene with AccessoryGeeks.com here with the Samsung Droid Charge from Verizon. And we're going to go through the unboxing right now. Very simple, small box with a slide on cover. Uh, one thing I found interesting on the back is it shows that it comes with swipe and it also comes with T9. So this phone comes with technology from the year 2011 and also from the year 1999, which is always great. So let's open up this box. Inside you have the phone resting at the top. A free $25 Samsung Media Hub credit. Your user manual and I think the 4G LT SIM card inside. Nice charger. It's a little different than the other ones. It's square and very compact. And a data cable. And that looks like that's about it. No headphones. But the phone does come preloaded with a 32 gig micro SD card. So let's take a look at the phone itself. It's a very, uh, very nice device, very Samsung in the sense that it's very similar to their Samsung Fascinate on Verizon Wireless, which we have right here. Uh, the Samsung Fascinate is a little thinner. And the Droid Charge does have a larger screen, 4.3 inches versus 4 inches, but it's not that much taller. So it's still a pretty compact phone. Uh, given how large the screen is. Another phone we want to compare it to is the HTC Thunderbolt, Verizon's other LTE phone. And the Thunderbolt is notably heftier. It's a little heavier in the hand, which some people might like because it makes it feel a little more substantial. And it is definitely a little thicker. And the Thunderbolt has more of a rubbery coating, whereas the Droid Charge, we take off this plastic, has a very uh, Samsung Galaxy-esque smooth plastic feel to it. Uh, so that's about it for this uh, unboxing and comparison. So what we're going to do is go through some test videos of the new Droid Charge and see how it stacks up versus some of the other new phones. Uh, so stay tuned, some, stay tuned for some more videos and remember that you got it from a geek.